What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the Collider HR, a hybrid smartwatch from Fossil. Being a fan of watches in general, I have tested a lot of smartwatches from Huawei, Honor and Samsung, but I always come back to the traditional ones because I like to see the hands moving. You can just take a fast peek at the watch and clearly see the time, you don't have to rely on the always-on display that drains the battery, or you don't have to raise your hand too much. I had also the Galaxy Watch 4 on my wrist for 6 months and I can say that even though it has a lot of useful apps, I found myself rarely using them, as I always had the phone with me and I could not see the point in using the small watch screen. After a few months I got tired of charging it every day and when I wanted to use it as a fitness tracker it took too long to charge, over 2 hours, so I abandoned using it. Not sure why Samsung doesn't implement a faster charging for their devices, they are so far behind other brands. It's also one of the reasons my daily phone is not a Samsung anymore, it's a OnePlus 9 Pro with way faster charging and better cameras. But you can check my comparison review on that also on the channel. I bought the Fossil Collider HR and used it as my daily driver for 2 weeks and I can say I'm impressed. It's a 42mm size stainless steel watch and it includes a 1.1 inch e-ink display of 240 x 240 resolution. It's only 30mm thick and weighs 73 grams. So this is a light watch, easy to wear. It's a good size for me, almost the same with the very light watch I like to wear, the slimmest Casio Edifice AQB1000 series with solar charging and Bluetooth. I really dig into the design of this watch as I have the dark brown version which looks amazing. The hands can be clearly seen having a light cream color and are also visible in the dark. It comes also in the dark grey color or rose gold version with a white background. To make things clear for all of you that want the brown version, it's not as brown as in the marketing photos, it's a very dark brown which I think it looks great. It comes with a 22mm silicone strap that has brown leather on one side. I never use leather straps for smartwatches and I have already changed it for a more comfortable Milanese strap, you can find this all over AliExpress. The Milanese strap is extremely lightweight and lets your skin breathe. They actually also have a tab in the app that shows where to get your original Milanese straps. The charger is magnetic with two pins and it can charge the watch to 80% in under one hour, fully in under an hour and a half. The functions of this watch are actually very good for a hybrid, no nonsense useful apps that you will never use. It covers all the basics like notifications, alerts, heart rate, activity tracking, music control and more, but I will detail those in a second. The watch works with any Android or iOS phone using Bluetooth 4.2. The downsides I see is that you don't get NFC for contactless payments, nor a speaker so you can't take the calls to the watch, but you can answer and decline calls directly from your wrist if that's your thing. Let me take you to all the functions of the watch real quick so you know exactly what you get and then we'll talk about battery life and pricing. First we have the home menu accessible while pressing the center button. Then from the top we have the weather, the find phone option, then the music control app, which for this monochrome display is done really nice. Next we have the notifications that can be scrolled through and also cleared. What I have noticed is that when you read a notification from your phone it gets cleared right away also from the watch. You can only read a small part of the notification content but you do get a lot of emoji support, also another advantage over other OLED watches. Notice how the hands move out of the way to allow for a better reading for each screen. Then we have the settings menu where you can find the software version, the wear side change, the dial info, the option to see HR on or off, the vibration type and I can see that this seems premium as it also has subtle vibrations if you like. Then there is the text size selections that do not disturb and the last one is the backlighting on or off setting.
Next in the menu are the wellness statistics which include the HR and the dashboard. I would have loved to see directly the dashboard and HR included in it to avoid another sub-menu here, but maybe this gets fixed in a future software update. The workout menu includes the most common activities, so for me it's ok, especially as it includes the weights workout, which on the other smartwatches I had to manually search and add, as it was not a standard option. Other activities include treadmill, elliptical, spinning, hiking, a generic workout, biking, walking, running and rowing. For some of them it displays the GPS symbol which shows that it will use the phone's GPS to track the respective workout, as the watch does not have one. While testing the watch with some workouts, I have noticed it is pretty accurate in terms of distance, steps and calories compared to other trackers I've owned. Next in the menu we have the timer and the stopwatch and for this I really like the implementation with the hands moving. You will notice that the display updates a little slower but is nothing wrong with it, it's just the way the e-ink displays work. It's how they stay backlit without using too much power. The Fossil app itself is very intuitive to use, you can easily see the wellness stats like steps, calories, heart rate or sleeping details. Oh and by the way, the watch is comfortable to use during sleep, I don't even notice it on my wrist. It's really accurate and it detects quite well when you go to sleep and when you wake up. Not sure how they do it, but it's more accurate than the Amazfit BPU Pro for example. Unfortunately, I don't think it tracks your sleep during the day like a nap. From the app you can also customize what the physical buttons do and you can customize the watch face. Speaking of watch faces, there are a few predefined ones and you can also start from scratch and create your own. A big plus here being the fact that you can create it exactly like you want, setting not only the complications type, but also their position and even their size on the screen. You can even write anything you like on the watch face including emojis and also set your own background photo. Kudos to Fossil for these extreme customization options, not even the OLED watch faces of other smartwatches can be edited in so much detail. Let me give you a small tip as I know some of you wonder how to change the target of the steps go. Go to the sandwich menu, select wellness, then go to set goals, deactivate the dynamic goal which is the default and voila, you can now set your own. From the same wellness menu you can also allow it to sync with the Google Fit app. The watch can also show notifications from all of the apps on your phone. In a previous firmware there was a 10 app limitation that now is gone. The Collider HR has also a backlight that can be activated with two taps on the glass. Besides the easily readable time, this hybrid smartwatch also comes with a reasonable battery life. In my testing, which included a lot of notifications, a few workouts a week and sleep tracking every night, the battery lasted around 10 days, but with a lighter usage you can easily get 2 weeks out of it. As far as pricing goes, now a few years after its launch you can find it at around $200. It's still pretty pricey, but there are not many options like this in the market right now. As a conclusion, I think this is a special smartwatch, it nicely blends classic style with a modern touch and the fact that you don't have to worry about charging is a big plus. I really recommend it as it has a clean slick design and it's light, comfortable to wear while also being useful with its many easy to access functions. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this smartwatch and also about your own experience with it. Feel free to ask about any issue or details and I will be glad to help. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.